Okay, so now we're gonna look into when we have both with modulus notation or absolute values. So before this, in previous example, it is one side. That's why we consider the positive value as well as the negative value. But then now we have both of them with modulus. So that's why we want to consider to square both sides. Alright, so now our first example here. Let's look into it. But before that, we go into our first definition for modulus or absolute value. Okay, which is whenever we have modulus a, it should be equals to square root of a square. Because if you cancel off the square root as well as square, so it could be a anyway. Alright, so if you have 2x plus 1 modulus equals to square root of 2x plus 1 square. So when we square them up, which at the same time means that the modulus square up, right? Could be equals to 2x plus 1 in the bracket with the square, okay? Because the square root will be cancelled out with the square anyway. So now, please remember, when you actually square out modulus 2x plus 1, it should be 2x plus 1 squared only. Leave like that. Huh? Okay, to, uh, the same goes with x minus 3, that should be square. And then, as usual, you expand them one by one. So quick expansion, we should have 4x squared. And then 2x times 1 times 2. That should be 4x in the middle as well as 1 at the back. Okay, on the right hand side, we should have x squared minus with 6x and then plus 9. So simplify everything. Make it the coefficient of x squared as positive which is 3 plus 10x minus with 8 equals to 0 and then you can use your calculator from here to solve for x so now we should have our x to be equals to 2 over 3 as well as negative 4 so please recheck using your calculator so i've rechecked this one you have to accept both of them so both of them should be our answer same goes when we actually put into x negative 4 so both also satisfies the left hand side and right hand side okay so both are accepted what about what we have on our right okay so please notice that even though you have two in front you still have both sides with modulus signs so that's why you have to square up everything on the left and on the right so two square should be four and then the modulus 3x minus 10 square should be 3x minus 10 square as well so expand everything will be x squared plus 8x plus with okay so sorry that one is 8 actually Okay, plus with 16 at the back equals 2, 4. The 1 in the bracket there still got bracket because we haven't expanded them completely. So that should be 9x squared minus with 60x plus with 100. So x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals to 36x squared minus with 240x plus with 400 okay so eventually you would have 35 x squared minus with 248 x as well as plus with 384 okay so use cal your calculator to compute what is your x so eventually our x is 24 over 5 as well as 16 over 7 
okay so still as usual we have to recheck whether each answer actually satisfies the equation from the left hand side and the right hand side so if your x equals to 24 over 5 the left hand side is equals to 44 over 5 as well as on the right hand side also it should be 44 over 5 as well so they are equals that's why we accept 24 over 5. On the other hand, if we have 16 over 7 as our x, so on our left hand side, that should be 44 over 7. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, it's also going to give you the same answer, 44 over 7. So again, they are equal in value, so that's why we are accepting 16 over 7 as our answer okay so see you in the next video thank you for your attention mm -hmm.